And yeah, it really is that easy. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust fuel pressure on your aftermarket regulator. So how does a fuel pressure regulator work? Essentially it works in conjunction with manifold pressure to take the fuel from your fuel pumps and deliver it to your injectors at the correct effective pressure so they work accordingly. Now every vehicle comes with a fuel pressure regulator except most factory options are not manually adjustable. Now in my example I'm using an Aeromotive FPR, however this will work with a fuel lab and most other aftermarket regulators. So to get started, you're going to need a fuel pressure gauge or a sensor with a sending unit and a gauge mounted internally so you can actually keep an eye on what the rail pressure is. Now in my case, I have an Innovate sensor mounted to my FPR and internally I have my fuel pressure gauge mounted next to my wideband. Now a quick disclaimer, there is absolutely no reason to adjust your fuel pressure after your car is tuned. If you're seeing substantial swings either way, there's something else wrong and you should check it out first. With all that covered, let's get started. So we're going to try to set the base fuel pressure. And in order to do that, we need the fuel pumps to be on. If you cannot run your fuel pumps independently of turning your car on, make sure to pull the vacuum hose off the fuel pressure regulator so you can set the correct base pressure. Next, you're gonna need a wrench and an Allen key or an Allen socket. You're gonna use the wrench to loosen the nut and you're gonna use the Allen key to make the actual adjustments. For reference, lefty loosey is less pressure. Righty tighty is more pressure. So you're going to grab that wrench, you're going to get a little bit of muscle, and you're going to loosen the lock nut. Once it's loose, it's fair game to start making the adjustments. Now I have a camera inside the car and one up top of me in the engine bay, and I'm going to be showing you both side by side. On the left, you'll see me make adjustments, and on the right, you're going to see the gauge react to the settings. Now as I start to loosen, you see the fuel pressure start to go down. That's what we're expecting. And of course, when I start tightening again, you see the fuel pressure go back up. And that's pretty much it. Now remember, set your fuel pressure according to what your tuner tells you. Mine requested right around 40 to 42 PSI at the base. Now if you were following along, congrats, you're done. You just set the fuel pressure on your regulator. Now if you were here for the informational, educational, fun times, Awesome, thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful, comment down below. And if you like the content, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.